and welcome back to another six scale figure review with me, your host, that Metromania. And if you're wondering why there's not a box in front of you, it's because I don't have one. I threw out the cardboard box that it came with already because recycling came and I wanted to be clean and healthy for the world, you know. But I do have this bag of goodies. So, well, ooh, pretty bag. Wow, look at that. Spoilers in there, though, so throw that off to the side this is gonna be a, this could be a fun one so let's take a look at the figure uh right now so today we have a very casual killmonger this is the outfit that he wears in the scene in the museum in somewhere in the you you british land the british people talking land where they steal the vibranium axe or like tool the vibranium tool so this is the outfit he wears in that scene. Um, not one that I would have expected to have been made, but for some reason, third-party companies really like Killmonger. I could make five videos on Killmongers, I think. But this one, uh, this one is fun because we get to put the figure together. So that means, uh, as you know, I'll build a Fig Friday, which is always exciting. I know you guys love those. But let's get him off the spinning turntable and take a closer look at him and the few things he does come with. Now, other than everything that he comes with to put him together, he doesn't really come with much. He does come with this mask though, that he does he does have, which I believe should just be able to sit on his face kind of like that. So it's an option that you probably will never use, but it's an option you have. He also comes with this pre-order bonus second sculpt which uh i didn't even pre-order i got it on sale because on clearance or something like that it still came with it pre-order bonuses are a lie because they always come with it even if you order it i swear to god for third parties but if you look um this is supposed to go with your black panther which i will show you now what they look like side by side uh the skin tone on this one is a little bit lighter than the skin tone on the other one and it doesn't blend as well into that uh, neck fake skin thing that I have on him, as well as the regular head sculpt. But it is still nice to have the option of a scary smiling head sculpt. Anyway, back to the figure at hand. Let's pull him closer and take a closer look at the monger. So the glasses do come off, but I think it looks... It helps the likeness a little bit with the glasses. I think without them on, it's a little, little off. The hair sculpt is really nice. Uh, it goes, I mean, it goes up, as you see there. And it's definitely a well put together hair sculpt. I'm quite, I'm quite impressed with what this company that I've never heard of before had pulled off here with this one. But here, let's take off the glasses which are kind of hard to get on and off. And you can see it definitely has that lighter tone, like the head sculpt that it comes with, as opposed to the darker, slightly darker tone of this one. You can see what I mean. All in all, not a bad sculpt, but when you come to here, you can see the skin color does clash a bit. But again, if you use a coat like this, you'll never notice it. He does have these two beaded necklaces, which are quite a cool accessory, actually. I never thought I'd see, like, six gill beaded necklace like that. Bring it down to the jean jacket here, which does, if you, you be very careful, actually is frayed around the elbow area, which is actually quite cool. And on the back, you can see it's all over the place. So that is actually very neat to see. It must have taken some real effort. I don't think it, this is actual jean material, but I can't really tell because I don't wear jeans, so I'm not quite sure what jean material feels like off the top of my head. I haven't worn them in forever. So normal white shirt underneath, nothing special about that. He does have these fun cargo pants that has some green on it because the display base I have him on right now is grassy uh, and it may have come off a little bit. Weechy. Normal black cargo pants, nothing special, and then regular regular boots that do not split cut and do kind of fall off. 
despite them having the body that they chose should have fit the pegs that they chose but sometimes that happens I'm coming back up so that is our oh, not enough up that is our casual killmonger how about we bring out our uh, I'm gonna kill everybody killmonger to do a little bit of a uh, comparing shall we so obviously we have our regular one on the left and our black panther suit killmonger on the right which is considerably taller you can see that the points of the one on the left his hair is a just about the same height as the regular sculpt i don't really have a problem with this because you know being the black panther you're supposed to be slightly bigger a little bit scarier it just i feel like it makes sense with the transformation into a black panther so i'm not overly worried about the height difference here it is a little bit shorter than I would have expected. I feel like it should only be like a little bit of a difference, but you can see there's a good, good significant difference. So I might use some ankle extenders to raise him up. But for now, this is how it's gonna look. This is how he's gonna be. Let's move on and see how well the body they gave us and these clothes pose up, shall we then? Like always, I am happy to report a life ending 360 degrees. Arm goes up that far in the jacket. Arm goes up that far in the jacket. Back a lot more because the jacket kind of opens up for it. And the arm does have a 90 degree bend, so that's nice at least. There's some decent crunch action here. That's about all you're getting for a spread. A kick forward is that far, a kick backward is non-existent. Nice knee bend and articulation here, but not at the ankle itself because it is not split cut. So let's get old Killmonger here to the end of the video, shall we then? So we can end the video, obviously. Shoot. So while trying to put this mask on for my end of video wrap up, I realized that it fits better on the second head sculpt that's designed for the Black Panther Killmonger outfit than it, more than it fits on the regular one. So maybe you could do like a, um, you know, like how the Civil War Black Panther came with a mask. Maybe you could do like a the mask on that, then the mask on him and do like a spooky mask contest, maybe. Maybe, maybe. But anyway, this is the studio that I cannot remember the name of, Killmonger, that is on sale on TNS uh, Toys, TNS, whatever it is, TNS, something, 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 for $90 right now. And that comes with, again, everything you see here, plus the other head sculpt. So that is crazy. That is a crazy discount. So if you're looking for a Killmonger in this stylish, stylish outfit, go pick him up, because he probably won't sit there for much longer, because again, $90 is crazy. I'm glad that I, I I accidentally stumbled on this, and I'm glad I did. I just need to get the uh, the damn toys one in that military, more military outfit, and then I'll have all the ones I need because I don't think I'll be picking up the young rich toys uh, shirtless one. Actually, maybe, maybe I will because I could just switch the head sculpts because I've got plenty now. We'll see. Maybe that'll come in the future. But for now, this is what we have. And if you like the video. Please feel free to like and subscribe because uh, when you like and subscribe, I get all giddy like a little schoolboy, and it makes me very excited. And I love having you guys around. And as always, make sure to comment because I love to respond to your guys' comments. Your comments are usually fun, and we can have fun conversations it's like we're best pals. And I love having best pals because I'm very lonely and I don't have any friends, which is why I have all these six scale figures to make me feel better. And to wrap things up, I've been me, and you've been you, and thank you for joining me on another six scale figure review. Hopefully you join me again when we have hopefully something new. I will see you then.